welcome back students hope you all have done preparations for tomorrow's external examinations for the course discrete mathematics for r22 regulation under j to h as i told in the earlier video that i am going to prepare for you the the sample question paper which will be asked for tomorrow it doesn't mean that the same questions will be repeated please do cross check the level of your uh, uh, the preparations for tomorrow's end examination as i was promised you that i am going to let you know the pre final or the sample question paper for you after preparation please kindly go through it if this paper comes tomorrow in the external examination which you are going to take how many marks you are going to give score as well as the level of your preparation for tomorrow's end examination hope you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't done if you haven't subscribed please do it immediately as well as press the bell icon so that you are going to receive the latest notifications on the videos which i am going to post in my channel and do share my channel to your friends hope my channel important concepts as well as the other subject concepts are benefiting and useful for you for the external examination i am receiving the beautiful comments from you all i am expecting that you are going to work out even the similar manner the other papers if you are looking for that i am going to do for the other courses also from the next coming end examination i have uploaded even the important concepts for the course business economics and financial analysis in earlier video please go through it and if you are looking the same pattern for the pre final examination question paper for the other courses also please do comment in the comment section and after going through this please comment me how many marks you are going to score if this paper comes in tomorrow's end examination i repeat a note once again the same questions may not come the thing is i am going to check only your level of preparation for tomorrow's examination this may clear you the subject as i was mentioned even the earlier video that you need to have certain credits to promote from second year to third year if you haven't got through it please go through the promotion rule for credit from one year to the other year this video covers as per the similar pattern of the examination which you are going to take tomorrow for discrete mathematics under j into h for r22 regulation dear students as you all know that the part a consists of 10 questions from 1a to j and every unit you are going to get two questions i mean each unit two questions in the short i mean one mark each you need to write all the answers to score 10 out of 10 the first question is to define tautology with an a simple example and write a contra positive of the conditional statement like this such things will be asked in the examination for sure define binary relation also dear students if alpha equal if a equals to this and b equals to this find out a cross b union b cross a and intersection also what is recursive algorithm this is said to be from the unit 1 and these are said to be from the unit 2 hope you have prepared as per the concepts which i have mentioned for you all in the earlier video of important concepts what is recursive algorithm algorithm find the print write the principle of mathematical induction is said to be the topmost question i have taken into consideration by looking and going through the evs previous year question papers as well as the j into h r22 syllabus a fibonacci recurrence relation is said to be the fourth unit and the inclusion exclusion also what is planar graph and the shortest path algorithm is said to be the damn sure question please do mark immediately or take the exam immediately now and let me know or as well as you can text me in the comment section how many marks you are going to score in part a as well as part b if the question paper is this or the level of your preparations also you can comment in the comment section so that i am going to work out for you all the coming examination papers also in this manner later the part b will be having 50 marks dear students each unit will be getting two questions here with an option or please ensure that the question paper will be lengthy as i told 2a is prove that this relation equals to this and the b is the statement like compound proposition statement which are logically equivalent or not you are supposed to show each carries 5 plus 5 mark ensure that you have only 3 hours of time and the question paper will be too lengthy dear students and 3a question is all about 
translate these statements of logical expression using predicates, quantifieds and the logical connectivity. This type of question is damn sure in the end examination where tomorrow ensure that you are supposed to work out very neatly by carrying two set of pens. And the next one is B. Show this is a valid conclusion for the premises. This statement need to be worked out. Either you need to work out completely 2AB or 3AB only dear students. Do not waste your time in writing 2A from this and 3B from this. Only one answer will be evaluated and the best mark will be taken into consideration. Do not waste your time by writing 2A from here and 3A from here. Means this question comes from the first unit. Will you able to attend or not? Please do cross check. I give a note, kind attention to all. This is only a sample paper for tomorrow's exam, dear students. Later, I would like to let you know the second unit question is 4A. I mean, show the congruence modulo m is an equivalent relation on integers. The direct 10 mark question sometimes. If R is a relation on set A, then R is transitive if and only if. Consider the following relation is R reflexive. Such type of questions will be asked for sure in tomorrow's end examination. It doesn't mean that you need to write first, second, then fourth. You can write any answer, whichever you are perfect and whichever the unit you are perfect with. Hope you are liking my videos as well as you are commenting how many marks you are going to score if this question paper is going to appear in tomorrow's end examination. And the sixth question is that they, they if so suppose the portal the postal department prints only five and nine cent stamps prove that it is possible to make up in a postage of n cents using only five and nine cents for n greater than equals to 35 is said to be the such type of model questions will be asked tomorrow later the diver recursive definition as well as this positive set and the negative positive uh, integer concurrent to module 3 and set integer not divisible by 5 give a recursive definition for such type of problems are very essential and important or give a recursive algorithm is set with the topmost question or the mathematical induction prove the statement the given statement need to be proved upon the mathematical induction if you have gone through my important concepts on descript mathematics which i have posted day before yesterday all these concepts were already posted hope you are preparing accordingly dear students be strong in concepts whatever may be the value whatever may be the relation appear in the question paper you need to be strong in the concepts dear students so all the next unit is all about the fourth unit so all the recurrence relation of fibonacci series of numbers and generating functions to solve the recurrence relation here i have considered 10 10 mark for you all please kindly go through this question paper and appear the exam or kindly make a mark of each and every answer and post me how many marks you are going to score if such paper appears tomorrow in the end examination the coming to the last unit i was telling you all about the algorithms as well as the graphs show that show step by step crucial algorithm of the following connected weight graph and also calculate sum of weights of minimal spanning tree the spanning tree problem or the definition in the short and long will be asked for sure dear students this time and this is also 10 mark hope you are going to like and subscribe and comment if you're looking for any other course and the last and the final question i have given is define a graph g is represented by the following adjacent matrix this is a matrix and where you are going to draw the graph and determine whether g is a tree just Justify your answer and determine whether G is an Eulerian graph. Justify your answer. Such type of questions will be asked as for the sample as I promise you are while working on the discrete mathematics concepts i told that i am going to let you know the pre-final examination pattern i mean it is not the pre-final examination i am going to do like this for you if you are going to like comment and subscribe and share as well as looking at any other courses please do comment and make sure that how many marks you are going to score if this type of questions are going to occur or appear in tomorrow's external end examination dear students you have enough time to clear this course if you have started preparation you have enough time at least minimum of three units you are supposed to prepare as i told you all that to prepare unit two later unit three and later unit one and even you can work out even the unit four five also you can skip unit four as it is all about calculation
question an average student can work out unit 2 3 and 1 to score a good marks dear students hope you have got the concept and the question paper as i told that i'll be working out for you all this is all about j into h r22 discrete mathematics paper so a sample paper which may appear like just the questions in tomorrow's end examination i repeat again hope you are going to subscribe share and like my videos if you're looking for any other course please do subscribe to my channel good luck and god bless you all dear students and do not forget to comment after taking the examination tomorrow i have prepared already a befa question paper for you good luck and god bless you all dear students thank you